Introduction We begin now, as this is no easy task. This book is a message for the scholarly and those simply seeking information. It contains layers or messages of truth, justice, freedom, and above all, love. When a child first learns anything, such as to ride a bike, this child only learns this on a superficial level. Yet, after much practice, time, and absorption, the information sinks in on a deeper level of knowing, and the depth of what has been learned can be appreciated. Readers of this book may want to reread it several times, so that they too can appreciate all that they have learned on a deeper level. Today we know that there are many skeptics who will question the validity of this information. Pity them, for they are the tough learners, who take things at face value and make things hard on themselves. When they do finally open up to the ideas contained in this book, beware as they will be its staunchest supporters. Before we go further, we must recall all that it has taken for us to be ready to write this book, and for others to be ready to receive it. We must thank our past masters and teachers who have helped us evolve so that this book was even possible. Time has also been a catalyst, as we naturally have become ready, as every book has its time when the masses are ready to hear the messages that it contains. Travel with us on this journey as we embark on the daily messages of love and truth. Love is the answer, and the truth of this will set us free. Follow along for an exciting adventure that is sure to warm your heart and soul. Let us begin. Long ago, in a city far away, a man lived with his wife and three sons in poverty. One day, as he was walking toward the city nearby to sell his goods, he was approached by three sisters, each unique in their own way. The first sister asked if she could lighten his load and help carry some of the produce that he was taking to market. He gladly agreed. The second sister approached him and asked if she could lead his oxen so that he could walk freely. To this he also exclaimed a great willingness. The third sister, however, did not offer to help with his physical burden. She asked, can I lighten your spiritual path by telling you the truth that will set you free? Puzzled, he replied, Well, I guess so. She began enriching him with the truth. He, in turn, tilted his head in knowing, as he received the truth. He felt his physical load lighten as his heart beat an extra beat with joy. Thank you, he said to the third sister. You have truly lightened my burdens because now I know that I am on the right path, and all the struggles have been self-made, for life is not about the physical, but rather the spiritual accomplishments. The rest of the days and in the weeks and months to follow, the man felt lightness in his step and in the work that he did on his farm. He no longer felt burdened, but rather joyful to be alive and given the chance to experience all that life has to offer. The moral of the story is, of course, the same for us all. Live your life as a spiritual one, and you too will realize your physical burdens are self-imposed. Life is about the heartfelt love and goodness in us all, not the trivial drama that we make up in our heads. Live the life that you were meant to live. Daily Readings, 